Have you ever been playing poker and you encounter a situation and you say to yourself, every time I'm in this situation, I don't know what to do? Maybe it's when you're playing ace-king and you miss the flop, or when you have pocket queens and the turn card is a king. Advanced Poker Training's new Combat Trainer lets you practice specific scenarios like these ones that come up time and time again if you play enough poker. It's quite possibly the most important tool in your entire training repertoire, because misplaying these common situations can be so costly to your bankroll. Once you've logged into Advanced Poker Training, you'll see the Combat Trainer here on the main page. Click on it, and you'll see that the scenarios currently come in six different categories. Pre-flop situations, flop fundamentals, pocket pairs and draws, surviving the turn, river strategy, and tournament tactics. We're initially launching this feature with one scenario in each category, but by the time you're watching this video, there may be many more. In this video, I'll click on the Flop Fundamentals category, and I see one scenario entitled, Why do I always miss the flop with Ace-King? If you still aren't a full member of Advanced Poker Training, this is the only scenario you'll have access to. You'll need to get your All Access Pass to get to the rest. You can use this button up here for that. So let's try out this scenario together. Why do I always miss the flop with Ace-King? The intro screen tells me the following. It says in this scenario, you have Ace-King offsuit in the big blind. Three opponents limp pre-flop. You raise to five times the big blind and get two callers. You miss the flop. How will you proceed? So in this scenario, we're going to be playing Ace-King from the big blind out of position against two opponents and the flop will never contain an ace or a king. I'll click OK, and we'll watch as the scenario plays out. Now it's my turn to act. Do I bet here? Check call? Check fold? Check raise? It's up to you. I'll check this time. Whenever the hand ends, the exact same scenario will begin over again. This time I'll check fold, just to demonstrate that. Notice, the hand automatically plays out again to the exact same decision point, and the flop, although different, will never contain an ace or a king. If you get tired of watching this part, you can crank up the speed, up here. Now, whenever you fold, the scenario plays out again at high speed. A good question is, are my two opponents always holding the exact same cards? The answer to that is no. Each time they will have different cards. Now they don't have totally random cards. They have a wide variety of hands with which typical opponents will limp and then call a preflop raise. If you want to see their hands, you could of course click on them, just like you can do in any of our other training simulators. But of course that kind of defeats the purpose of the simulation. A better solution is to click on this Peak at End button down here. Now when the hand ends, only then will your opponent's cards be revealed to you. When you're finished with a scenario, press the Quit and Save button, and you'll get a brief session report. While this won't have as much data in it as some of our other session reports, one thing I like to do is look at this box that says Individual Hands Where You Lost the Most Chips. I can click Select All, and then press the Replay Selections button at the bottom. Now I can watch a replay of the hands on which I lost the most money, to see if it was just bad luck, or maybe I could have played it better. Finally, are all these hands played in the Combat Trainer saved to your database? Yes, they are. In fact, you can see them all here, right over on your My Saved Hands page. 
Notice, though, that all these hands are marked combat trainer. And since they were all played in a fixed scenario, they will not affect your overall statistics in your reports. We'll be adding more and more scenarios as time goes on. If you have an idea for any new scenarios you'd like us to make, or any other questions, you can use this link here. This will take you to our community forum, where you can post your suggestions or questions. Thanks for being a member of AdvancedPokerTraining.com.